friends welcome back to my channel thank you for your support and I'm gonna smoke some lamb shoulders oh I think we got a snake in here but somebody's peeling off here the floor is a black snake it's not venomous so today we're doing mix of oak and uh, pecan I'm gonna try some pecan uh, today's cooks will be probably six eight hours something like that we start burning oak first then once we get a nice fire we we'll add some pecan I'm trying to see if I can find a, my friend snake, but all right, that's it for oak. I already got some pecan. Like I said, it's been raining for a while, so I got some pecan wood here that I covered from the rain yesterday. So this lamb dry brine in the fridge overnight. I did score them a little bit to get through that fat. As you see it in a huge medium sized square cut lamb. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them to Morocco. By that I mean I have some argan oil which is 100% Moroccan and ground cumin we just did. This is just a replacement bottle.
that's the only thing I'm gonna put on this lamp today argan oil fresh cumin and that's it and we're gonna let the lamp shine all right so let's do a slather of oil argan oil if you never had it it's very uh, fruity the closest thing to it I would say I think from what I had before sesame oil I'd say would be probably the closest to your argan oil but it's just what I'm using today you don't have to do this you can use whatever you want mustard olive oil no oil no no binder whatever suits you it's your meat do whatever you want with it so uh, a nice coat of argan oil all over Oh, that smell, man. I know I say that all the time, but it's really smelling good around here, man. Okay, so now let's do a, a nice generous coat of cumin on these, and that's all we're going to do for it. One thing I'm worried about is since there's nothing mixed with this spice rub, it's just cumin. I hope it doesn't burn. I know there's no sugar in it, but this is the first time I do cumin as a as a rub by itself. I usually mix it with other spices, but this time it's the start of the show. This is good. To the sides. The bottom. It's quite morning here. Usually, there's a lot of traffic that you can hear in the background. Quiet Monday morning. Yep, yeah, I'm missing this side. Alright, so I think that'll do it. So we're cooking at 250 to 60 right now. It don't really matter as long as it's at 300 you're good smoker is ready these sweat a little bit this is what we're playing with today I'm gonna put the bone side actually you got more a lot of fat so let's do this side here bone side down and the bone towards the firebox so right in the middle I should be good yeah this is good so uh, we come back in maybe two three hours I check on this lamp shoulders okay so we've been cooking for three hours Three hours and 15 minutes keeping it at 250 275 and I've been mixing wood I burned some pecan first the first two three hours that was all pecan I just put some oak now I switched to oak wood I wanted to get some of the pecan flavor first and in the meat I think pecan pairs well with lamb so we'll see we'll find out so uh three hours in oh that's beautiful let me get you up close a little bit nice color 
I think we got a little bit of burn ends here. But well, this is looking good so far. The scores I did on a fat cap. I think it works. The, this side was burned a little bit. We're gonna switch to this side now. Same thing with this one. Oh wow, this is good. Little pull back here on the barn. I like what I'm seeing so far. This is good. Very happy. So far, I don't think some fat render. This one is a little soft right here. We're gonna let this cook for a couple more hours before we check back again, okay? Fire is doing good as well. This cook is going pretty good so far. Happy with it. Ooh, so We've been cooking for five hours now. Let me get you a little bit up close so you can see. So, man, I think this is done. Got this separation right here. Pull back, fat is dripping. Good, good color. That is right here. Beautiful bones I think it's coming off as well good day so uh I don't think I need to wrap this this is good as it is no resistance at all if you can see poking through the meat easy yeah we're at 195, so uh, we shoot it for 2.5, 2, 6. Fat renders very good. I think we're good so far. Maybe we'll finish this cooking in an hour. Stay tuned. There we go. They are very tender. Fat renders. Pull back on the bone right here. And uh, no resistance at all. That's exactly what we need. Around 205, 206. And uh, it's very tender. No resistance at all. So we flip in this way. Take the first one. Second one. Make sure you don't leave no room for it to steam. You just want to rest them in a the foil. This is good for now. Second one. Same thing. Cut this beautiful. These are our lamb, um, lamb shoulders. These are gonna rest for a couple of hours. I'll see you in a little bit. So to recap this cook, we smoked these shoulders for six hours. A mix of oak and pecan wood. The whole time the cook camp was 250 to 75 and then we rest them for a couple hours and this is the final product right here Ooh wee nice color oh la la oh the bones are just falling out that is clean bones that is Ooh. nice
Let's clean all the bones. Look at this midway here. Beautiful. We don't need this spine. This is not edible. Let's get rid of this. Alright, this is the final product right here. As you see, it pulls nice. The fat is rendered. It is still warm after two hours. Wow. Actually, it's hot. This is nice. Very happy with this cook. This is exactly what I wanted. That cumin came through big time. Salt and cumin. Forgot to mention that on the recap. Pecan wood. You can't beat that. Nice color on this lamb meat. And it's tender. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Fat rendered very good. A little bark too. So uh, overall, nice cook, nothing fancy, just lamb shoulder, that's it for this one, thank you for tuning in again, if you like the video, subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff, it helps a lot, until the next one, stay safe and bye bye.